It was a nice presentation this morning. Uh, they organized uh, the Club Biosphere. Uh, I'm very happy we could uh, meet all three and speak about uh, how to teach uh, skating to the kids. Mm -hmm. Did you like it? Uh, how was it for you? Yeah, I thought it was very interesting. Um, there were a lot of similarities between our presentations, which I guess is a good thing. Um, there's also some good questions from the, the coaches that were listening. So, yeah, it was an interesting discussion. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice for me too, because I'd never done something like this before. And for me, it's nice to know that I'm towards, like, leaning towards the same thing as you guys are. So that's a confidence booster for me. And um, yeah, it was nice to learn on all those things again and, sp and talk about them. And I got surprised because the, it was like from all three when we present the agility was like very important yeah. Yeah. and I like that we without speaking before we said that uh, the technique is more important than the physics yeah. and from my point of view in France most of the people they train the physics kind of first so is it like same in Netherlands for you or? Uh, but it's also genetically because some of the kids are stronger or taller so yeah you see you were saying that um in the younger ages that the bigger kids usually win and uh, i feel like that's something that happens everywhere but it's nice to know that all the other coaches are focusing more on the technique and the agility over trying to be strong first same, same point of view, like you really insist in the presentation about working on the technique first. It's like something you learned recently or you, you got this idea since, since error? No, I've always been very much into technique since, uh, since we switched to inlines really in 91, 92. Um, it's interesting, one point came up that uh, to be big and strong was, was important. However, <laughs> being quite tall myself, I don't feel that being that tall, two meters tall nearly, uh, is a big advantage. I feel that, like we said, agility is important, but it's very difficult to be agile when you're very big. So I think, uh, you know, being uh, medium sized, but being very agile, uh, having fast feet and, and good one foot skills, one foot balance and stability is one of the most uh, important factors for kids. But like we said, we all agreed on that fitness and power, it comes later. It, it comes much later in the skater's development and um, it's not necessary to, to make your kids fit, just make them fast through technique and top speed. And I also like I think it was your second or third slide about the wheel size. Like you find out that in Colombia about this information, like they really uh, have a regulation about the wheel size. Yeah, I can't remember where I found that actually. It was a few years ago. I posted it on my blog, but uh, it's very interesting that they regulate the sizes of the wheels you can race on. Whereas I don't know about the whole world, but particularly in Europe, there's this tendency to go for bigger wheels. Uh, just to go faster and it's really it's a shortcut to speed but uh, it's not good for the long-term development uh, I always say that big wheels will make you go faster today but technique will make you go faster tomorrow yeah. um, so best to learn skills on small wheels I think it's under it's understandable I think that the little kids want to go for the big wheels yeah because they see it in their examples, Th their examples have bigger wheels and it's a fact that the big wheels go faster so um, I, it's totally understandable that the little kids want that and I think it's a coach's job to uh, explain to them also why um, it would be better for them to stay on the little wheels because yep. I think if we explain it well to them they and if they listen to their coach if they trust you, then I think you can work on technique for a long time with them. Yeah, for me, like when we go too early on the big wheels, we lose a lot of the fun. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's much harder in some way to turn. And uh, yeah, I think it's much more fun on the smaller wheels. 
so for the agility you learn faster how to play on your skate and feel confident and uh, so like all the hockey players they still have smaller wheels they, mm. I think they start to change a little bit the freestyle they still have also smaller wheels even if they are also changing but mm. yeah most of the sport uh, of roller when they still have the smaller wheels it's much more agility and it it looks like it's more fun to play yeah. on the skate it's more fun to play yeah but then our our top goal is to go fast so but yeah for sure I like to go on the hockey skates with um, the kids at home too every now and then and play do like all the games on hockey skates and you can see it in their faces that they really like it because it's something different from what they normally do and um, it gives especially also the older kids it gives them uh, play time when um, they are starting to be pretty serious about skating and about training when you put them on skates they get yeah they get play time and they're just playing around and it's really good for older skaters too yeah that was a good example when you told about the girls who forget a skate i was so impressed yeah that yeah. was cool and then she she took some fitness skate for the training yeah and she really enjoyed it because it was much more playful or if i i was think when she came to training and she forgot her skates I was thinking back to myself in that age and um, I would have never, I don't think, I would have put inline skates on and skated with like the normal group that were on on, on skates, on normal skates. And uh, yeah, I was really impressed by her. Yeah, and for us, like we have, uh, we skate since much more years, so we kind of learn from skating with smaller wheels first. I mean, I skate on quads, then on inline five wheels of 76 then 80 84 90 so it's kind of we learn in a way where we, the wheels get bigger and bigger so i think it was for me it was an advantage i'm not sure i would have been so technical today if i had to start skating with big wheels straight yeah i agree uh, my, my history was similar to yours um, except i came to racing very late uh, I played roller hockey on quads and skated in a roller disco, just jumping barrels and playing games of catch, um, things like that, for I think eight years before I even saw my first race. Um, my first race was when I was 17. And I think that agility background gave me a, a, good, a good base. Uh, you know, I was just playing, street skating, playing on skates in the roller disco. Uh, stuff like that so I think uh, the wheel size is an issue but also the frame length we tend to always think about the height because of big wheels but one of the things is the frame length and of course you always have a longer frame which is less agile if you have a bigger wheel unless you go down to three wheels of course yeah I'm really real so like yeah. that's why I like the three times on the 25 mm. because actually you can go back on a shorter frame if you need so you can get agility more agility on 3 time 125 than on 4 time 110 that's, that's my opinion not on the edge to edge but because of the size of the frame i really like it yeah but the the turning circle is shorter on a shorter frame mm. and um, just turning stopping starting playing basically playing on on a shorter frame is is much easier especially for small kids yeah. And it's like in the sorry in in the question it's like uh, they worry that we go too fast in the way we teach skating by going straight on big wheels and want the kids to go fast very straight and in all the three presentation it looks like we're all telling like first they need to have fun those kids yeah. yeah and I think it was great from you like you were very aware of this like you you really insist about this I think. Yeah, I think if, um, if we teach the kids mostly to have fun when they're skating, we teach kids to, to, to grow to love the sport and to love it for their whole life.